Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Sully Pones and welcome back to my classic run mode on Super Smash Bros for the Nintendo 3DS. Before we get started, do me a huge favor and click on that like button for me. It really helps me out a lot. Anyways, today I'm going to be doing classic run with Pit, a character that I'm not really a big fan of in this game. I was never really a fan of Pit in any of the Smash Bros games, uh, but Pit in this game actually plays a lot different than the way he did in Super Smash Bros Brawl, which is actually a good thing. They changed him for the better. He's not one of those obnoxious characters that just spams his side B attack and then gets a lot of damage dealt on a person and he has that ridiculous flying recovery uh, but in this game they changed him a lot and they changed him for the better he's not as broken as he was like I said in Brawl but you know even then I'm still not really a big fan of him uh, I actually did a comparison on a live stream where I played his pit and then I had somebody play his dark pit and then I played his dark pit and then somebody else played his pit and we just compared the two side by side and we looked at the differences between them and there's not really a huge difference between pit and dark pit uh, and I can understand why some people are upset at the fact that, you know, Dark Pit or Pit 2 was added as an individual character, like it was kind of a waste of a character slot. For me, I don't really see that. Like, I can understand that you could give him a different skin, but I don't know. I don't know. Dark Pit it just seems to be like a character that deserves his own character slot and not just a reskin for Pit. Because in that case, he'd still be Pit. Like, when you think about it, Dark Pit and Pit are two entirely different characters. So why give him a reskin just you know to satisfy or please some of the fans out there I don't know I'm not really gonna go into a rant like that I just want to know what you guys think about this dark pit do you think it's a waste of a character slot or do you are, are you happy or content with the fact that you know they added dark pit as a character personally I'm I'm pretty satisfied with it you know I'm really happy with the character roster in this game I know a lot of people aren't but for me, I'm really satisfied with this character roster. Uh, granted, there are like a couple characters that I'm not really a fan of and I'm not gonna play as them, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I, I'm like mad that they added them. You know, it is what it is, I guess. I'm taking this Duck Hunt route because, you know, it's been a while since we've taken on Duck Hunt. So we're gonna be taking on Giant Duck Hunt right there. Uh, and again, this is on 6.0, and the reason for that is because, you know, I've never, like I said, played his pit. I would never really play his pit besides in Classic Run, so I'm not gonna go out of my way to play it on, like, an intense difficulty, knowing that I'm not gonna do well, because that's just pretty much, uh, like, asking myself to die, and I don't want that at all, to be honest with you guys. Um, so, uh, let's go ahead and just duck it. You know, when you face off against giant people, it's really easy. The one thing that I don't like about, like, Classic Run is, like, if you play this on an intense or difficulty, like, 9, for example, and I'm doing this, like I said, they're just the battlefield itself that we're playing on, not the actual stage battlefield, but, like, the, the stage that we're playing on will just cause so much interference and damage. And I did not mean to pick up this hammer. Did not mean to pick that up, but, you know, I did, and I accidentally killed D Duck Hunt. I mean, either way, he was kind of going to die. His, his percentage was really high, but I didn't want to kill him with the hammer because I said before in the past that I would have that I was going to not use hammers if they were available for me. Like, the, the, the brown hammer is understandable because those actually don't do as much damage as, uh, as the black ones. The black ones can kill you with, like, 30% damage on you. The other ones, you have to have, like, probably 70 or 80% in order for them to kill you. So when I picked it up in uh, in uh, that Animal Crossing stage, it wasn't really a big issue for me. But here we have, uh, oh man, God, I I don't really like this level. This level has kind of too much of a distraction and interference. Like, watch that Bow Blacks in the back is gonna come and and yeah, probably kill me. I'm not like no joke though. Every time I play this, I always end up getting swallowed by a Bow Blacks. It's not really my fault, but I'm I'm trying to kill him with that. You know, get a cheap kill. <laughs> Even though I, I I feel like I would be upset if I, somebody did that to me, but I don't really care. I, I man, I can't even get a hit on Olimar. Are you serious right now? Are you kidding me? Oh, there there it go. I just might sign my death sentence right there, literally, just signed it and printed it out and everything. <laughs> That's the problem with this with uh, with this stage, is he can die easily once the rain starts pouring. That bull axe comes out and he's hungry. He wants to be fed. Oh, and there goes, there goes Olimar. He can't recover from that. All right, thank you. You saved me a nice troublesome stage. I know I butchered that one, but you know, I could really, I don't really care. I'm not, I'm not good with Pit at all. I will openly admit that. I, you know, I will be the first to say if I suck with the character. And Pit is just one of those characters that I'm not good with at all. I don't like playing as the him. Um, you know, unless. Unless it was like a random battle where like I am playing with random characters, then if I 
if Pitts landed, then I have absolutely no choice but to play as him. But besides that, no. Pitts, I'm just going to stick to Kid Icarus when it comes to playing as Pitt. But it looks like we have a free-for-all battle against Fox, Falco, and um, Marth. Okay, uh, this is, uh, you know, really, Falco and Fox aren't much of a threat. Are you kidding me? Marth just took out Fox with one smash attack? Are you, are you kidding me? It goes to show you, like, how, I don't know, I, I don't want to say broken. I can actually, I can turn down the, uh, the attack ratio, where, it, like, the attack damage on this, so instead of the, the attacks doing so much, like, damage and knocking you off the stage, so easily I could turn that down to make it where it's like impossible where you'd actually have to have a lot of percent on you in order to get knocked off the stage so I took out Falcon right there now it's just me and Marth um, Fire Emblem characters man are too intense in this game you know the thing is after Palutena we actually gonna be taking on the Fire Emblem characters we're gonna be using them for classic one and I'm very excited about that and there I go hammer killed me it's kind of inevitable at this point to dodge that but now I'm down to one stock, and it is risky for me because one false move and I could just slip off the stage and then I won't be able to recover. So I'm going to just be very careful right now, just take it nice and easy and not really worry about trying to kill him extremely fast because that's not really the objective here. It's just to at least live and, and take him out when I can. Plus, the more damage I do, the more points I get uh, in the end, which is a good thing. Um, oh, come on, man. Oh, oh. Is he dead? He's out. Awesome. We took out Marth. Not bad. I was going to use the blue shell, but I guess Pitt did it on his own. We didn't need any assist items or trophies to take them out. Uh, but yeah, we did it. Now moving on to the next stage, which is actually going to be the fighting me team stage. Not bad. Um, I'm actually, I have a pretty cool tactic for taking on these guys. Pitt has a very intense side B where it actually does some damage and it kind of knocks you back in the air a little bit. So I'm going to use them on the fighting me team and see if it actually kills them in one hit. That's what I like to do with usually every character that I play. And it totally does. Are you serious? Look at that. Boom! Suck us two kills. Three kills. Uh, can I get the pentakill? Maybe. Nope. Quadra kill. And then I got the pentakill right there. Pentakill, five kills back to back, sixth kill, seventh kill, and then I can get these two at once, come on. Nope, yes, I did, awesome. Eighth and ninth. I noticed too, whenever I play Battlefield, when it's uh, against the Fighting Me team, that they spawn so many of those items that like, uh, that like pick you up and suck you off the stage, like they take you off screen. I'm not sure what they're called or what game they're from, but they always do that. They always spawn so many of them. And uh, the good thing is the Fighting Me team don't actually go after them. So it's I guess they're kind of meant for you as opposed for them to pick up and use. It's the way I feel because every single time they've spawned, I've never really seen a me go out of his way to grab one and use it on me. But anyways, we made it to the end in one piece. We're still on 6.0. We haven't died. Usually if I die, I'll, I'll restart. But, you know, I'm doing this on my first run and I'm pretty happy about that you know it's, it's a good satisfying accomplishing feeling knowing that i'm doing this on 6.0 with a character that i really don't like playing with and that that character is pit uh this first stage is pretty easy all you got to do is just avoid master hand and crazy hand uh usually at this point yeah why are they just standing there like i feel like sometimes they just get stupider and stupider when I battle them, like, they just allow me to attack them by just standing there. They're like, hey, I'm not gonna do anything, but you can attack me all you want. So, moving on to the next phase, which is actually Master Core. It's been a while since we've uh, taken on the first phase of Master Core. Uh, it's, we've been just doing the second phase, so on and so forth. But, like I said, once we start playing with characters that I'm pretty familiar with, like any of the Fire Emblem characters, I will go back to, to doing this on 8.0 as opposed to 6.0 and then if it's a character that you know I'm kind of iffy with like I'm I feel like I'm all right with then I'll play it on 7.0 but besides that everything will be stuck on 6.0 because the objective is just to unlock the trophies not to show off skill or gameplay because the thing is no matter how many times you play against level 9 computers and you practice against them it's still nothing compared to actually versing somebody like an actual human opponent because those people are just so much better than level 9 computers could ever be. And that's how it is all the time. Because computers, they all have... They're all programmed to act the same and, and perform the same. 
you know, it's just the difficulty that's different for them. Uh, because I actually competed in a tournament. It was kind of like a local tournament that I had with just a bunch of friends of mine. And I have to say, like, I was practicing on level 9. I was destroying level 9 computer souls. And I ended up just not doing so, sh like, well in the tournament because just players in general, like, when you play against a real person, it's much different than playing against a computer. Um, but, I mean, I'm not saying, like, playing against computers don't help you. Obviously, they do. It gives you more practice and it makes you a better player, but it's still nothing compared to playing with the real thing. And I'm doing terrible. Oh, man. I might not make it. I honestly might not make it unless I kill him and then I'm guaranteed not to be touched by pit like dark pit I should say or clone pit ah okay come on die oh come on oh 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 jeez man oh jeez 89% are you kidding me oh my god that totally could have swept me off the, the ground and knocked me off the stage entirely but good thing we managed to make it out of that one and now we are taking on dark pit right here or I should say Clone Pit, because it's kind of misleading, like, saying Dark Pit, and then people will actually think I'm actually battling against Dark Pit. But I'm not really. Even though he kind of does look like Dark Pit. Oh, God, am I dead? Please don't die. Please don't die. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, I gotta avoid and evade his attacks. That's literally all I gotta do. If I can avoid and evade his attacks, I will be golden. Oh, I feel like he's almost dead, too. He's, like, very small now. Oh, come on, dude, really? Alright, we almost did it. Oh, come on. One more hit. Oh, yes. And he's off the stage. Not bad. We did it. Oh, I was so nervous. I was honestly so nervous that I wasn't going to make it. And I think this is honestly the lowest time we've had in, uh, in a Master Hand, Crazy Hand stage where we've gone this low in time. Usually, I ended off in like 2 minutes and 30 seconds. But this time, we, ha we, we went an extra 50 seconds more at least. An extra 50 seconds more than the usual, which is very sad. <laughs> I mean, it's not sad, because like I said, you know, I don't really play as Pit. You can't be good. You could be good with every character, but for me, I can't. I'm just not good with every character in the game. I mean, granted, I could be if I practiced this game every day and I played as every single character, you know, every day, but I don't. So there's no way that's going to happen anytime soon. And I'm still sick if you couldn't tell by, by my voice, but... I'm starting to feel much, much better than I did when I first got sick, which is definitely a good thing. But we did it. We have the pit trophy. Uh, guaranteed before the end of the Classic Run series uh, is over, we'll have all of the trophies that we had on our previous game, the Japanese cartridge one that I had. Um, so there's no worries about that. You know, I might not be getting them now or going out of my way to get them now, but like I said, eventually I will do it before we finish off the Classic Run series. I think... Currently, we still have, like, I want to say, like, almost three full rows of characters to go through. Because this is the 31st, and there are 53 or 52 different characters in the game. So, we have, like, 20, I guess, 21 episodes to go, or 20 more, more, more characters to play with. Not including the actual Miis, like, the different kind of Miis. Because you have the Shooter Me, the Fighting Me, and, uh, and the Swordsman Me. Which I'm just gonna end up doing all in one video. Not the shooter one, because I already did the shooter one, but I'm gonna do the fighting one and the, the swordsman me all in an episode. That way I can just get them both out of the way, because I feel like they'll be relatively short, and they're the same character, but with just different fighting styles, so it's not like they both need their own separate videos for it, but... Um, that's besides the point. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. It really helps me out a lot. And if you're watching this and you aren't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. I do daily videos here on my channel. And uh, you will not be disappointed with the content that I provide. I hope, at least. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys all for watching. I don't think I'm going to actually make this. I really don't. Like, Pit doesn't really have, like, good, just regular attacks. And I'm dead. Nope. I managed to recover from that somehow. It's like they give you the chance by putting the poster up and then down. Like, hey, you do the fill up the top first and then fill the bottom half and then the top and the bottom. So if I have like stuff at the bottom, I'm not able to fill that up until the poster actually goes back up to the top. But I'm at 99.57%. Where else? I can't really tell because like it blends perfectly with like the sparks. Okay, there it is. Come on, there we go. Nope. Ah, oh, that's a big chunk. 
They're not gonna give it to me. Yeah, there's no way they're gonna give it to me. It's okay, though. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next episode of our Smash 1 Classic Mode series.